morning everyone. Uh, today we've got the, uh, the Lexus Auto. So they're a A341 or 342 LE. And we're going to convert it over, make it four wheel drive. You can the transfer case. Now this is the transfer case off a, an Auto Surf. I normally use a 2LTE or this one's a, a 1KZ. And it's the one that's it's got this little adapter plate here. Okay, and what we're also um, going to do is uh, we use this little sleeve. We're going to cut the shaft off the auto, so that's the we remove the. We're going to remove the donut, remove the flange, and remove the tail shaft housing, speed sensor. Inside there, there's uh, that's actually an early one, so it's going to have a, a gear a worm drive on it. But this is the, the later one; it doesn't have any worm drive on it. And then we're going to use the sleeve to hold it all together and, and put it all in together and, and make it all work. Now, interesting, the oil flow on the Lexus, here's the sleeve off the Lexus, the oil flow actually comes down, down the splines and feeds into the back bearing. We'll have a look at that later on. And on the surf, they actually come down through the centre of the shaft. There's actually some little holes in the shaft, which I don't have, but... So, this is the sleeve off a surf. Oh, without, it's got my collar on it, but... It goes through here, and it comes out this hole, which then pumps into the dam on the bearing, and lubricates all the bearing, goes through the bearing, and once it gets full enough, it, it overflows and comes back into the box, and just flows in the box, so it's constantly getting the supply of oil. Guys, some guys just cut the shaft off, Put the sleeves together and put it together. Now the problems we have here are the sometimes the sleeves, these sleeves split open. Um, so I've seen them cracked open and split open, which is real common. Uh, here's actually another one that someone else has done, and they I don't know what they've done. They've managed to cut it shorter for some reason. Um, off another model, they have this sleeve, which is a straight sleeve. So the sleeve we're using, uh, the collar, um, is. Got, the, got a cut down piece and so this piece fits into the bearing nicely come from the other way so that fits into that so there's no way that that one can fall apart because it's sitting in in that bearing and when we sit it around the other side you won't quite be able to see it but the, the hole catches the oil into that dam so that's how that works okay. um, the, the speed sensor, so the surf has got a big long speed sensor, common for them to break the pieces, so that sits in there, onto the surf, surf's got a, like a two, two prong sensor in it, and that's why you can't use the surf box as it is, uh, and then the, with the four prong of the Lexus, this is, this is going to end up in here, okay, and we're going to put the Lexus sensor in, which is like this one. So that's going to come in through the side. So for that, we use a 15mm drill, put a hole through it, tap in a hole for the for the mounting boss, and then it will actually need to be spaced out a couple of mils, because otherwise it will touch. So we're going to get about a mil, half a mil to mils worth of clearance in that. So that's what we're doing there. Now on, just a note, when you're doing these, um, I had to go through yesterday, get the old tap out. The, the gearbox, so these bolts in the gearbox are 1.5, so 10 by 1.5. And these in the transfer case are 10 by 1.25. So when I got this box, it had 1.5 oh, bolts partially screwed in, so I had to go through and clean all the threads. So I've, I've cleaned all those threads up. Um, tapped them all out, cleaned them all up, and they've all come up real good, so I'm, I'm happy with that, I was a bit upset, they weren't going to work. Now, other things to note on the back of the box is we've got this four-wheel drive engagement motor, so you need some way of, of engaging four-wheel drive, they're a pretty simple setup, they work pretty well, um, but we'll work on that another time. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead now, um, give these parts a bit of a clean, give everything a clean because it's a bit yucky. So that's going to be my next few hours job. And just a note on this, this particular box. Oh, so here's your plate for the box. So that tells you what it is. 
So when it says, oh, I don't think we're going to quite see that, but when it says um, 30-41LE, so that's a, a 341 LE, that's what we, we call it. And then you've got the 3042, it's the same box, it's just in a, for a different market. So they interchange, fine. Um, the, the cable going into the box, okay, so that is important. It is not a kick down cable, uh, it is a line pressure cable so make sure that uh, that's connected up correctly um, on this box we'll see this this point here that isn't like it should it should actually have a blanking bung so it came in without a blanking bung so I'm gonna have to sort that out as well um, so we'll sort that out uh, now in the boxes there's a few differences in the tail shafts too so here's your solenoid plug uh, this one's got six pins, so that's the very first of these boxes. Now we've got the main speed sensor. That's the main one that goes to the ECU. It's actually uh, SP2, but it's the main one that they use. And then it's got this one here. So that's your, your tail shaft sensor that goes. That's your vehicle speed sensor. goes to your dash, and then it comes back to the computer after it's been modified. So that's the, the like the second incarnation. And so they would go have a... So this one's got 6 pin solenoid, SP2, and a tail shaft sensor. The next box has a 8 pin, because I've added an, air temp, uh, I mean, an oil temp into the box. Uh, SP2, and the vehicle speed sensor. And the next generation of box has an 8 pin, it has the SP2, but it doesn't have that one. That doesn't have the vehicle speed sensor that comes out of the computer so won't throw fault codes if you don't have it and that that hole's basically just blanked up so that's my preferred one that's in the the 20 series or the 151 crown engines um, so there's just a note of how, how you can tell boxes apart okay so i'm going to go ahead and clean this we're going to turn off for a bit i'm going to do some cleaning and uh we're going to come back in a little bit okay uh morning guys all right we're working on uh, converting this a341 for four wheel drive. So I've gone through and I've cleaned the box. The box is clean. The bell housing off that's clean. I've put the filter out of the box. I've uh, got a new one on its way because it's pretty disgusting in there. The new pan gas with that little arrive next couple of days under that that's pretty shuffle. I've got the motor off the back of the transfer at the moment and uh, clean the transfer. Check that's all good. Okay, and I've, I've cleaned the adapter. Um, now I've, I've tapped the bottom hole, I've used 10 by 1.5, so it's the same as all the others. But well, that one doesn't get used, and that one doesn't get used, that's the original off the, the Lexus box. We go out to these outside ones. Um, make sure we clean in here as good as we can, because that was outside, now it's going to be inside. Then we've got uh, the adapter sleeve, and I've gone sure through and, and checked that it, it slides onto the, onto the transfer reasonably easy. It, uh, I'll put it on the right way. So that's that's reasonably good now. And uh, I've actually, uh, and then I've gone and I've done some measuring. So the adapter's 150 mils long. The spigot out of the transfer to the end of the shaft comes at 80. That leaves us with 70. And then uh, we need to allow for the oil feed because it's going to come. Oil is going to come out of that hole, that little hole. It's going to run along the splines. It's going to drop through our adapter and out through that hole to lubricate that back bearing. So that's important we get that right. We also don't want the the two shafts absolutely touching or a little bit of room in the middle so the oil can, can get out of there. So we're going to cut this shaft off and we're also going to mount the Speed sleeve, and there's a, I've got a cut, cut mark, so I'm going to cut the end of that, and that fits into the cartoon adapter, so that, that fits all fits together, and then we're going to seal it up and put it together. So I'm going to get onto that, and uh, we'll show you when the, the box is all together, what we've got, how it's looking, and uh, hopefully I'll get that all nailed up today, and it'll look good. Hey, talk to you later. Alright guys, uh, morning's progressing well, 
Okay, we're doing this uh, A341 box. So, I've set up the speed sensor side. I've got the adapter here, I'm just going to put this off. And here we've got our sleeve. Speed sensor. Now, when this is all going together, I index the hole for the oil, so you don't put your grub screw or, or, or block it in any way. I've the sleeves pushed in. There's no ring, so it's all put together nicely. Hole for the oil, so that's nice. And then set up the speed sensor. So when you put it all together and put the grub screw in, put a bit of Loctite on the grub screw. You push your speed ring back as far as you can because it's got a sealy oil. And then I just set it up so I've got, I put an Allen key through the hole. So you've got clear oil flow. And then I do this grub screw with a bit of Loctite, I'm nice and tight and that all sits that together. It's not going anywhere. That holds the end of that sleeve together so that can't split open. This bit goes into the bearing in the, in the adapter, so that's all good. And I've measured, I've got two mils, so that's between the shaft, so there's enough room for oil flow. And I've checked the distance of the speed sensor, so when you put the speed sensor in, I put a washer behind it. Um, I do put a bit of sealant on it, because getting a nice seal on there is pretty, pretty tricky with that drill. So we'll put a bit of sealant around that. And then it all just has to sit together. So I'm going to glue it all up to now, put the sealant on it, put it together, and we're going to have a transfer case uh, all together and, and uh, four-wheel drive Lexus gearbox. I hope that's been helpful.